Hi everyone, welcome to Sunday School. So last week we talked about Moses and we talked about how he was leading people through the desert. So that's kind of the second part of the story and now I'm gonna fill you in on the first part. So we're still in Exodus in the Bible, which is in the Old Testament. We're in chapter three and this is more dealing with verse 30. So here is my good friend Moses. Did you know Moses is a shepherd? So there's Moses' sheep right behind me. So Moses um, was one of God's main people that God would ask him to do things. And sometimes Moses really didn't think he could do these things because it was, it was a lot. And he didn't feel like he was confident enough and he really didn't think he could do it. So today's Bible verse, just to give you a preview, is so come, I will send you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. And Moses' response is kind of like, who, me? So the lesson here is God helps us to do important things. And God has called Moses to do this important thing. He wanted him to help free the Hebrew people from the Egyptian Pharaoh and lead them into the promised land. And Moses was surprised, but God knew that Moses was the right man for the job. He knew this because, you see, Moses grew up as a boy in the Pharaoh's home. And as a young man, he was a shepherd, and he learned a lot about being in the wilderness. So Moses had experiences that could help him to do God's work. So God appeared to Moses in this story as a burning bush. Just think if you saw a burning bush. You probably wouldn't sit there and talk to it. You'd probably run away. I think I would. So Moses was surprised, and he doubted he could do what God asked him to do. And Moses made excuses and he tried to convince God he wasn't the guy for this job. And he kept saying, but who am I? And God said, you will not be alone because I'll be with you, I'll help you. And in this story, there's the Egyptians have a lot of different words for their gods. And so Moses said to God, but how am I gonna tell them like who told me to do this? Who's gonna listen to me? And God said, I am who I am and tell them the I am sent you. So God didn't accept Moses' pleas or excuses as to why he thought he couldn't lead the people. Instead, he prepared him. God prepared Moses just like he prepares us. He helps us to look past our limits. He helps us to do things that we don't think we can do. So we can ask questions about God and we can even disagree with things that, about him. But in the end, God helps us no matter what. God calls on leaders to love, lead, and serve others, just like Moses did in the story. And God helps us to do important things. So here we go. I'm going to read you the story from this Bible that we love, the Spark Story Bible. And this is the story of the burning bush. So Moses was watching his sheep in the hot, dry desert, and suddenly he saw a very strange sight. Flames from a fire came from a bush, but the bush, it didn't burn up. Moses squinted his eyes. He looked around the bush one way, and he looked around the bush the other way. Moses, Moses, said a loud voice. Moses was scared. Here I am, he said. Take off your shoes, the voice thundered. The place where you are standing is holy ground. Have you ever been told to take off your shoes when you come in the house? So Moses kicked off his sandals, keeping his eyes on the flaming bush. I am the God of your fathers, the voice said. Moses hid his face. He was afraid to look at God. I have heard my people crying in Egypt, God said. My people are hurting and I've come to save them. Wow, thought Moses. How will God do this? Go, said God, I am sending you to Pharaoh to ask him to let my people go. Me, said Moses, who am I to go to Pharaoh? Who am I to lead your people? He threw himself down into the ground before God, but he kept one eye on the burning bush. I will be with you, God said. Moses trusted God. He was willing to do everything God said. God gave Moses the words and power he needed to talk to Pharaoh and lead the people out of Egypt. 
So in this story, you can see that number one, Moses is walking along, just minding his business, and whoop, there's a burning bush. And so he's startled. And then the bush starts to talk. And the bush is talking because it's the word of God. And God is saying, hey, I need some help. If you could just lead all these people out, they don't know where they're going to go. And it'll be fine. It's going to be in a desert. It's going to be really hot. There's not going to be a lot of food. But don't worry, I'll take care of that too. There won't be much water. But don't worry, you can do this. So have you ever been asked to do something you're not really sure? Let's say that you're really good at a subject or you've worked really hard, maybe in math or science, or you're really good at music. And maybe your teacher says, you know, one of your friends is kind of having a hard time. Do you think you can help them? And maybe you struggled before, but you got to where you understood it. And you thought to yourself, can I really help them? But you can. And when people ask you to do things and to lead or be an example, you can. This makes me think a lot about Pilgrim Church, too, because in our church, we do a lot of things where we try to lead and set examples, and a lot of it's a big ask. We're not sure we can do it. So the Super Bowl of Caring is one incident. So we um, raise money and donate to the Super Bowl of Caring. That's one thing that we do. Another thing that we do that we're going to do very soon is the Miracle on South Main Street, where we package meals that they can distribute to those who don't have enough to eat. Another thing we've done at Pilgrim is we've done Family Promise, where we host families who are in transition. They're looking for a permanent home out of homelessness, and they live temporarily at our church. Um, we've also done the Angel Tree that you might have participated in, where you go and you purchase gifts for someone who may not get any gifts at Christmas time. Um, the Pine Street Inn is a shelter in downtown Boston, and we frequently send members of our church who go and help serve meals or prepare meals. The same with the Salvation Army. We do the same thing there. We also, this summer, had a Black Lives Matter um, gathering on our lawn where we, we said that we as a church support that all lives matter, especially... Um, the black lives, we have to acknowledge and say that this is something that matters to us. So at Pilgrim Church, we really do try to walk the walk and say, this is what we believe. And because we believe these things, we do these other things. We try to provide services for um, people in our church, people outside of our church, people outside of our town or our community. So that's what I want you to think about today. I want you to think about sometime in your life when you've been asked to do something and you might have thought at the moment, oh, this is too much. There's no way I can do this. It's insurmountable. I cannot figure out how to do it. And then you break it down into piece by piece, bit by bit. And not only do you do it, you do it well. And maybe you help someone else who needs help. So we all have great strengths and that God can help us to use in important ways. So just like God helped Moses, even when he doubted himself, he helps us in that same way too. So when you start to feel some doubt, and I don't know if I can do this, that little voice comes into your head, remember the story of Moses and the burning bush. Not only can you do it, but you can do it well. So let's all say a little prayer for the week. Dear Lord, help us in everyday activities and help us to know that even when we feel like we're not strong enough or good enough or can do anything, that you will help us. In your name we pray. Amen.